feel lighter. Ronnie came by while you were away. She said Edwin can't even consider helping us at all because he's in a state of uh, despair. Look, uh, I know this sounds uh, petty compared to what you've already done, but well, his uh, his dog is missing. And, well, I know it's silly, but uh, hey, it means something to Edwin. So, what can we do? So, when Ronnie said dog, what she meant was a freaking mole rat? Seriously. Well, I'm sure it'll uh, find its way home, Dad, when now that you've freed it. <laughs> but in the meantime, I've heard the Blood Eagles have recruited a mechanic named Star. And they plan to have her help take over a radio station. We can't let that happen. She joined up about two weeks before I did. She's so amped, they didn't even need to juice her up with the buff out to mess with her mind. I once saw her kick a defenseless woman off of a cliff. I mean, who the hell does that? She needs to fall. <laughs> Hard. Yeah, if the Blood Eagles get a radio station up and running, they can literally broadcast their threats across Appalachia. Everyone who hears the message will either run away or join up to avoid being killed. Yeah, it's the only way. Want anything before you head out? No. And it's kind of freaking me out. I was getting regular messages from Ronnie, and suddenly they've stopped. I have a feeling something big is going down over at their camp, but... Well, we can't worry about that now. You'll be back after these messages, right? That's uh, what, I, what I heard people used to say all the time. Good one, I hope. <laughs> 